right? Yeah. Dan Cortez, MTV Sports. What? <laughs> nah, it's Sweat <laughs> Equity. Uh, we're the number one comedy business podcast in the world. We, yeah, we running all right? Yeah, yeah, we're good, we're good. All right, I never, I feel like we started making love and then we had to stop because we heard a loud noise outside. I'm going to c- Oh, it, man, it's cut short. Is that a oh, bur- no. Is that a burglar? Is that premature ejection of a drop? No. Are you okay it over there? didn't finish. If you're watching us on a video on YouTube, OnlyFans, any, uh, Facebook, wherever video our video episodes are posted, we're looking goddamn sexy because we got John Paul, the producer, back in the house. Un, un, um... bah, 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 bah. I just suck my you. pussy from behind. That's him. If you remember his voice from old episodes, uh, that's just exactly, like Lizzo. Exactly what he sounds just like. Just like her. Hey, uh, do us a favor. Uh, if you're listening to us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, re- rate us, review, uh, subscribe, uh, uh, and share it with a friend. Yes, please. Just share it. Just share it. You're you're going for a walk or a jog or you're folding laundry right now. Just share it. Just share the podcast, would you? Could you just I think they it? get it. I think they okay. get it. I was going to do the Zagat's Guide. Yeah. I um, it! <laughs> give me some candy because I'm crazy. Keep doing it. That was a different Adam Sandler run. <laughs> I'm off the chain today. Just crazy. Oh, yeah. I have not talked to adults for two days. So, uh... This episode is sponsored by Squarespace, the all-in-one CMS content management system, drag and drop website building platform. You don't need to know code. You don't need to know advanced CS or CSS, HTML. You can do it with your tiny little low-tech paws on your own with great support, like legit great support. Not just saying that. Uh, if you want to get a hookup on a website, you know for discounted hookup, holler if you hear me. Makeup yeah. say, oh. Hit the link in our description to get the hookup for your website on Squarespace, and it gets a couple shekels back in our pockets. Let's get the party started. Hotty toddy. What about my sweat equity? Sweat equity. Sweat, 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 sweat equity. My sweat equity. My, my sweat equity. What about my you know, no big deal. Those those murmurs you'll hear all episode probably are Eric and John Paul going Bickering. back and forth trying to produce. But I give you guys mad kudos. Fucking thing sucks because we're Teach trying to, to take his headphones we're, off. We're trying to level up, baby. We're trying to level up, level up, and goddamn this these cameras look sexy as shit. Yeah, they're good. We got singles on both of us. Yeah, that's, we got that's that's your cue, director. <laughs> you look like a, uh, a stripper cop almost. Thank you. With those aviators on. Is there a problem in here, ladies? And then, close up. And then they're like, you're already wearing tank tops and shorty shorts. Right. You'll the be fuck? done in 10 seconds. You look like Dangle. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, we have the genius. We've got the biggest uh, ring light I've ever seen. Which it's is, a bit much. Which is nice. Um, look, we're leveling up. We had a meeting this morning. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. It got me kind of uh, reinvigorated, if that's a word. Yeah. Can you reinvigorate? What? Yeah, of course. I don't know. You, you can invigorate. Can you reinvigorate? Yeah. Just know. add re to anything and it's doing it again. <laughs> but uh, retarded. You know, I didn't. I came in blind on this meeting. So thanks, I know. Thanks for that. I thought it was funner that way. Yeah, I mean that's how we do with the show. <laughs> and yet you still had a lot to say. Well, it, because uh, because they're into us. The deal was like this: that one of the guys found us. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's like when a chick is really into you and wants to hook up. <laughs> you with got you. nothing to lose. And you're, you're like, play fast and loose. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm swinging for the fences, oh, baby. Shit. Yeah. I'm, I'm not hitting warning track. I'm not hearing the weight room chants. I'm, I'm hitting it over the fence, and I was just pumped that someone's into our vibe so much, and then they have a comedy business kind of thing as well yeah legitimate funny uh internal stuff that they have yeah like Like, uh, not for public consumption well could be in the future sure yeah i think are we allowed to talk about it i don't think anything's off i don't think first off i don't give a shit do you think either of us remember verbatim what happened in the meeting when was that today that was today okay that was this morning yeah rolled out did you have an otter.ai they had theirs on 
which I thought was ours. Be like, hey, can we get that? I almost asked for it at the end. Is it rude? Uh, now, I do this in meetings a lot. I will ask for the recording if they're recording it on Send their Send it end. to my attorney. No, I just go, I just need it because we talked about so many things. I, I just want to have that as thorough. And I didn't, I didn't use my dictation Otter AI app you know, while we were going. Maybe in this scenario, we just swing our dicks around and be like, what? where's our, our transcription? Well, <laughs> well uh, it should be on my desk by I know, the we, next day. We try to flex how much we know. <laughs> We're nerds. We're as nerdy as you guys. Yeah. We know about digital. Yeah. No. We'll see how that goes. We could just ask nicely also. Well, I mean, I don't think... Th- it was a pick-your-brain meeting, which is typically a waste of time. Right. Unless you kind of know the other side. Like, yeah. you really actually are curious about them. I feel yeah. like the pick-your-brain meetings I've tried to make, uh, 80 90% good meeting... We both got something out of it, kind of you thing. You mean you? The, I initiated, it. yeah, okay. coordinated, whatever you want to call it. But Go the ones that agenda. come, the ones that have come my way in my professional career, not so much. Yeah, and it's LinkedIn messaging all over again. But I'm, I'm such a, a ham, or just yeah, naive. You go to all these. You take the time. Well, if it's tough, man, when a, when a lady has a crush on you, it's tough not to pay some attention. You know. Sure. Yeah. It's just, man, it's crazy how much uh, the dancing that still goes on without people just, uh, I'm like, tell me how much it is. Like the first sentence, like, how, are you paying me or am I paying you? Okay, thank uh, you. Like, get, like, can we get past this? But like, this is where we, we, we crest into old manhood because <laughs> it's something we didn't like, do 10 years ago, but now we've, we've been through it so many times. This is how, man, you know how ma- managers become dicks? It's because all, like, all the employees at entry level, they suck. Yeah. Basically. Sick of repeating themselves. And then the manager's still there while these people cycle through. So right. that manager just turns into an asshole. Yeah. Right? Start all over again. May have been a an, jackass. May have been an asshole to begin with, but got more asshole. Sure. Like DP'd. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's probably better for it. And I feel like old men in the business world are very blunt, like almost Asperger's y. Yeah. I mean, because it'd be like, I don't need all this spiel. Just what it, what's the right. cost? What do I get out of it? I'm glad we're already there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I feel like we skipped the steps. You know, I feel like you don't get there till you're 50. No, no, I'm there, man. I'm there. Now it can be considered very rude. <laughs> I've I, been told. But yeah. But I mean, we get so much about the podcast where it's like, Hey, do you literally, I get email. Hey, do you want me to make videos for TikTok from your podcast? Sure. That'd be great. Go for it. I, That's how I respond. And then they're like, okay, cool. Well, I was just blah, blah. And then nothing about a I transaction going on. I'm like, okay, I was just kind of playing into it. And, you know, put your price. Tell me the layout of what is happening here before you go back and forth this many times. I'm all about a free sample, be it Costco, be it a blog writer that goes, hey. You're right. That's what I should be doing. I'm st- I'll I, tell you what. Do one for free, and we'll see how it goes. I'm starting to do any cold email. I'm starting to look at it, And if they offer something for free, I'm just taking it up them up on it because I'm, I'm bored. It's a slippery slope. Well, it's very low time consuming for me. Like I had a guest blog writer. He's like, can I write a blog post for your website? And I was like, knock yourself out. And it was like right. very generic. And he goes, what kind of niche do you have? I'm like law firms. And he's like, here's seven things to do to get leads for your law firm. And it's like fucking, what was the joke my buddy Brendan had? You could eat alphabet soup and crap out an article. Yeah, you know it was like probably grammatically incorrect, but it, it was whatever. like it, I mean it was Jasper AI or English as a second language sure. written, you know, from someone else's shit, right? Mm-hmm. There's no unique angle in it. <laughs> no, <clears throat> and so he's like, "Can I write another one?" I go, "Fuck yeah, go for it!" <laughs> like <laughs> that one wasn't very good. If people give me free sam, like there's a lot more cold emails or cold messages I'm getting that offer something for free, like a lot of these data companies, they're like, can I pull contacts, target audience contacts for you? I'm like, yeah. Please do. Business law firms in Florida, hit me. Yeah. You know? And I'm going to start being clear. I want, I want to have full rights to whatever you give me too. Oh. No watermarks, those whatever da- it is you're giving back, I, I want it. Those data ones, by the way, it's just scraping like, uh, Google My Business profile, uh, social media. So, like, the e- uh, their websites for emails, and the emails are, like, admin at or, like, 
general at. I'm like, this doesn't help me at all. Right. <laughs> like, yeah. You just gave me a list. Info I already have, at I already have this the list. website that I know how to get to. Thank you. You gave me the 800 number. That doesn't help. What was the AI scraper that we were messing around with? Oh man. The uh, <laughs> pragmatic business advice will drive you fucking. No, there's. Nuts. A, we got look. We got too many comedians, football players, and apps in our head. Like, I know. Those three consume a lot of my RAM space. We'll figure it out. And if we don't figure it out in the course of this episode, we will put it in the description. Datascraper.io? No. <laughs> that wasn't it. What AI one were you talking Like, have you used it yes. personally? You showed it to me. Yeah, but I have the memory of like a puppy. Uh huh. Email yeah. signature email. rescue? Oh my God. <laughs> email. Um, Oh, 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 um, Clearbit? Uh, no. Uh, He's typing an email address, AI Seamless.ai. Oh, seamless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, obviously that one. Well, I think of that more you know as the... I only use that for LinkedIn bot messages before, so that's kind of how I compartmentalize that one. Um, seamless is awesome. It does work. It's just annoying... If you happen to pay attention to your inbox on LinkedIn, which I've I put off for a while, and I missed two kind of <laughs> two uh, work things <laughs> like contracts that they're like, uh, we're, I've, hey, who's why haven't you got through LinkedIn though? And yeah, I was like, why well, you have my email? Why don't you just email me? Email it. Call me. Like I'm like, let me know. Like that's weird. Yeah, that's not I mean, you. I don't. Think. They weren't ideal contract work, so, but do you I understand how many it. LinkedIn messages I get. Um, you want podcast promote again? I'd really like to know, like, am I getting, are we getting like more or less than the average? Right. Or do people just not check it because it's kind of a, it's kind of a CD downtown of a social media. I got them now. They're, they're begging me just for a response. Please, sir, respond. Oh, that, yeah. No. The Indian guys. Yeah. Yeah. So desperate. Podcast promotion. I saw Tim Dillon took a screenshot of some of those messages and posted them. He's like, I got it. <laughs> I be- he bought a $4 million house in the Hamptons because of his podcast. He's all right. Yeah. He don't need your help. But like... We might. By but- the way, I got in a fight with a friend of mine uh, who's Indian. And I said, well, I said like something like, no, you're... I need a, like someone really Asian. And he's like, I'm Asian. And I go, <laughs> you know what I mean. You're, you're Indian, dude. And he's like, what the fuck does that mean? I was like... I mean, I mean, like real, real Asian. You know, not your yeah, India. Know. You're India. You're your own thing. You say it. There's a billion of y'all. You're Asian. I need an you Oriental. You can say it. <laughs> um, I was like, "What do you want me to do? The well, eyes thing? Like mean. I'm in school? <laughs> yeah. Like really? Do you want me to do the dicky or the the uh, thing from Breakfast at Tiffany's? What? What? Have you seen Breakfast at Tiffany's lately? No, like as an adult, not an eighty-five-year-old lady. You have a daughter. I figured maybe you stumble across it. You eat breakfast, but you haven't seen Andy Rooney do Japanese character. I actually have. It's know what you're so about it. goddamn I do racist. Know what you're talking about, yeah. he has buck teeth in. Yeah, just oh, over so the top. Yeah. Oh, so, like that. And yeah. you're like, oh, and he's an idiot. And that that couldn't have been funny when that movie came out, right? Actually, like. Like, oh, Easy racism was probably really hilarious back in the day. Oh, yeah, that was very prevalent. But you know when you get in an argument, so back to the Indian guy. Oh, friend. yeah, would you fight with him over? Well, no, I go, I, go I know what you're, you're trying to bait me to say something even uh, crazier, and I'm, I'm sly like a fox. And I'm like, <laughs> I just kept saying and like. And then he punched his stretchy arm at you? And I go. And shot a fireball <laughs> out of his mouth? Well, I was like, how come having. Ha- Street Fighter reference? Yeah, Dawson. Dawson? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I know that. I know all the characters in their background, Street Fighter 2. Right. Can't remember Seamless.ai, but we got all the Street Fighters up in there. I don't know anything about covalent bonds. (laughs) I don't know anything about uh, the stock market, really, anymore. It's magic. They're all magic. It's gambling. It's all magic. What is gambling? Sure. Magical gambling. Well, I used to work for a mutual fund company, which is like the unsexy part of uh, Wall Street, right? Because uh-huh. mutual yeah. funds are like thousands of stocks. It's like the stock market, but Aggre- slower. Aggregated together, less risk, 
but a better return if you hang if you put your investment in for a while, right? Yeah. Um, uh, the company I work for, Dimensional, uh, one of my bosses won the Nobel Prize for economics. Another dude You've mentioned it. Another dude there just won the Nobel Prize. So maybe I should have hung out a little bit longer. And what though? Uh, economics, I, I assume. But chugging. <laughs> Is that at Auburn? <laughs> what was it at Auburn? What this professor? No, no, no. The, the, another, another boss or another executive at Dimensional won it. Oh, that's right. He was your boss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was a grunt for like twenty five people. That so you didn't really learn from him. I read his. Uh, I read Fama and French's passive investing theory. It took me. It that and Infinite Jest by uh, David Foster Wallace were the things that literally I was reading like with my finger underneath the, right. the sentence because it was so boring or dense or like my reading comprehension just sucks. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Kind of like your story. Anyway, stock market. They used to show this all the time. Ah, stock market. Yes. Well, these, I worked with guys that acted like they were Wolf of Wall Street, but we were mutual funds. And it was like, <laughs> these guys are all so alpha. Bro, like, in 30 years? Uh, it was, I was telling mm-hmm. y'all before we started, Pain Don't and Gain, coke. great film. Not a movie, a film. Um, <laughs> and uh, I, lo- I loved how kind of like over the top those fitness kind of guys are, but they... Those guys exist. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like the businessy uh, fitness guys. Like I really am entertained by those guys in real life because mm-hmm. they're like they got all the energy, but they got none of like just the just right. ten minutes of analysis a day. You gotta treat your your body like your business like your body. It, it, you know, just brute force it, man. Well, I was just do it. <laughs> I was trying to help a dude that has a supplement company, and I'm like, and he's a trainer, and I was just like, you're a you're a fitness bro. getting into the supplement game right on right when it's hitting its stride. Twenty years later, yeah. Well, I don't think those are going to go out of style because it's just kind of like, it's crazy. People are still making new supplement lines, though. Yeah, because my we, creatine's different. We want a th- we want a cheat code. We want a thing that. We would live in the Jetsons future. I understand why people Jetsons buy it. I'm future. saying, who are these people making these new businesses? Like, I'm going to be different. Well, that, that's what I like about the fitness bro entrepreneurs because they're like, they're very <laughs> green, right? Yeah. And they've got all that energy. So it, it's like, they're like cocaine, natural cocaine, like just ready to go all the time. Mm-hmm. And you get them talking about their business and it's like, Ugh. oh boy, it's like 1-900 sex a lot. Yeah. And cocaine makes you want to talk about business. So there's something there. You ever you ever hear any good business ideas? People coked up? Sure. <laughs> What'd you got? Oh man. Beer delivery where you just run the beer to the people? <laughs> no way. Someone pitched that to you? I mean, it's cocaine talk. I, that's my favorite, because it's so delusional. Right. And it's like, all right, bro, bro. Because I could do it right now. You know how to write business. I could run plan? to your house right now. <laughs> I got energy for days, dude. Right. I could do two deliveries. I'm facile. We're going night. I'm I'm agile, bro. Yeah, bro. <laughs> now let's cram into this bathroom stall and right. not make it weird. Yeah. Um it really is the gayest of all the drugs. Is it? I think so. Poppers? And this is just I'm spitballing here. It's just you're right. You're always in this bathroom stall putting your face up to something gross, probably. There's it's always in secret. Yeah. Does anybody know. And Everybody knows you did it. Right. And you're kind of proud of it. <laughs> a little bit. But right. you try to hide but, it. Yeah, like, yeah. 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 You're like, no, I got allergies, man. Like right. you're always fucking with your nose. Yeah. Yeah. It, not, not hiding it. it. It followed my rule of drugs that the person I see on it, do I want to be like them? Does it look like a good time? And it does not. It's pretty stupid. It, uh, the cell on it. Are you, is, are you drinking and you want to feel sober? <laughs> How much money do you want to waste tonight? What's worse? What's a worse sell? Uh, cocaine that it it keeps you up to drink longer, and uh, no one talks about no wiener, um, whiskey dick, uh, instantly. Mm. You don't have that problem. Um, totally, we all have that. Totally, uh, I've heard. And uh, or the sell on trying dip for the first time. Yeah, that's not happening. Dude, it's going to be good, but you're going to puke the first time. I'm yeah. Like, Never doing it. Right. I, I'm like Seinfeld. You know what? And I haven't done this in years. Uh, yeah, that, that was one I was like, nah. 
I, I, why? Maybe maybe at 38, I'll get into dip. You got me hooked on nicotine. Gum. I, but why, don't play me. You're the opposite of the crime dog, dude. Well, I, I didn't do Fred it. Fred McGriff would be fucking living your at jaw you. up and down. Uh, I think John Paul's asleep, by the way. John Paul. He's sleeping. Producer. And we don't even have a camera on him. Okay. Well, do you know how to do that, young that, man? That's some real low self esteem on himself because you guys set this up. I know. John Paul, don't give a thumbs up. Talk to us, man. Making, you haven't been on. You haven't been on the show in a hundred episodes. Don't mess with the camera. Yeah, I don't know how I can do it. So, what's the latest in video? You're right. I was asleep. No way. See, I was pulling you angles. and Eric are like a married couple. Eric and I are more like a fling. I was pulling angles. What? <laughs> we're, we're not quite the married couple what are you, you two are. What? You two are a married couple. But we're like a friends with benefits fling. We see each other at the corporate retreat. Uh, fine. Yeah, we only get the, we get the best of each other. I know we were trying to hurt I, each no, other. You guys, feeling your party. No, you guys are always nitpicky at each other. And I just like to watch. Like I'm a, a he just pushes my buttons. He knows how to push my buttons. Well, John Paul's perfectionist. By not knowing how to push the buttons. I'm <laughs> very <It's> particular. <laughs> yeah. Show yourself. I, we did. I know, but why not? Talk Eric to us. is angry. American mm. History X extra. Yeah, extra. <sighs> Bro. I was doing so good mean. on pulling the angles. Just let's keep this going. Why are you so tie tie? Why are you go night night? <laughs> Why are you so tie tie? <laughs> Bro. It's hard pulling these angles. Because you don't have your headphones on. I don't know why you took your headphones Because there's on. a fucking delay, like always. I know. Hey, I told you, swivel your chair around and just look at us. Put your head on a swivel, kid. And just look at us and then have the thing. You don't need... It's three angles. Yeah, but I literally had my eyes closed listening to who was talking, and then I was switching them. Probably Eric. <sighs> he talks the most. Just Not according going, to otter.ai. <laughs> 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 Hey, someone's got to keep this show moving forward, yeah. bro. Uh, into, hey, what were things it. that you, uh, like, head on a swivel? I didn't really know what it meant until way late. Hmm. You know, things like you should have known. Hmm. Usually from coaches that I was like, oh, he said this. I got a good one. I mean, it's kind of a deep pull, but Three Amigos, the movie. A plethora? You know, when he says, look, it's a male plane. How do you know? Can't you see the little balls? <laughs> I didn't get that till way past when I should have. I don't know if I ever got it. I don't know if I, I don't remember you the still scene. Still don't get it. I don't remember the scene. You I get just, it now, yes. Uh, the wheels, <laughs> the balls. Like that's how you know it's a male. No, M A L E male with testicles. Oh, a male. Oh, male. Oh, I feel a lot better I-L now. I L to M A L E. Yeah, that's the joke. That movie took some swings. I'm not going to lie. That, I love that movie. I love. I I used to watch it a lot. That yeah. and Funny Farm for some reason. Yeah. I, every time the name Farley comes up, I think of uh, Steve Martin. Farley, 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 Farley. <laughs> <laughs> they're summoning summoning the invisible swordsman. Well, I I Great. remember thinking Martin Short is negative funny to me. Uh, really? And Three Amigos, like he doesn't do anything. Like, yeah, he's a little too cool for school. Jiminy Glick is awesome as a like, right. My, yeah. One of the best characters of all time. Yeah. So it says Dixie. It says Dixie. That's up really high. He goes very low. <laughs> that's at, oh, that's what Tim Dillon sounds like. Oh, but. that's been bugging the shit out of me. It's not Alex Jones' voice. He he goes high register and low, uh-huh. just like Jiminy Glick. Jiminy Glick. There uh, you go. I've been listening Solve to that him a mystery. Lot. Yeah. Shout out Tim Dillon. Let's yeah, call. Jesus, Tim Dillon. We're gonna put him in, oh, in the title. We can Facetime um, someone. I'm gonna burn a bridge with. That's I feel like we wait if we try. Uh, I, oh man! What about Andrew Santino? I, Cheeto Santino? Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't feel like he'd be cool. With that. I think you get embarrassed through me. Oh yeah. <laughs> Just like oh god, they picked up. It's oh, like no. it's, go for it. You know what? Burn your bridges. Well, there's a good chance this number... Um, Called Jeff Bridges. Burn that Bridges. Oh, I wish I had Jeff Bridges' number. Uh, if you, have you watched Dave on FX? Yeah. With Cheeto on it? Yeah. Big, big star. Oh, man, I'm starting to sweat now. Uh-oh. 310 area code. Getting yeah, nervous. Legit. Let's see if he picks up. getting nervous. Just point it at yourself, too. Don't point it at me. Keep me out of this. 
I still hope to have a relationship with Andrew. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> right to voicemail. Face well, mail. we're going to put you in the episode title. All right. <laughs> Out of me and that hurt. with Andrew Santino. I'm going to tell you, that kind of hurt. Yeah, he intentionally... Uh, Why can't you pick up when I FaceTime? We haven't talked in face-to-face in seven years. I know, right? In Ebor, he got stitches on his leg because uh, something crazy happened in Ebor City. While he's probably your fault. Tampa Improv. I said not to stay out after 10.30 on Friday or Saturday night or you're inviting trouble. What happened? Uh, a fight broke out and a glass broke and on his shin or something and he had to get stitches. Oh. I was hoping you say he was gonna do karate kick to a guy's face. But he's a guy he, pulls a knife. He's one of the slice. dude, he's one of the good comics, good young comics that he'll be he'll be an A lister comedian name, uh, you know, I bet in a decade. Okay. A decade? Well there's Jeez. I mean that's not a very high compliment. No, that's a very high compliment. I don't know. Gingers are crushing it. I think you kind of secretly hate him now because he didn't pick up your call. I'm a little mad. Okay. I'm a little passive aggressive mad. Everybody. You know, it's not that hard just to pick up a phone number you probably don't have the contact in. Right. Your phone. You know, you'll be a cutting edge comedian. I think. Pick up these random FaceTime calls. I think. How dare you? I got a little over my skis because Bert picked up when we randomly did it. Bert Kreischer. Yeah, I know. Now you think everybody's going to pick up. I know. Oh, it's the podcast that randomly calls people on FaceTime. Can't wait to pick it up. To be fair, he did it twice to me on live podcasts. So that's true. He's used you and abused you already. Um, what? Uh, so this <gasps> Just hadn't pushed the buttons in a while. Do we have anything to give the audience? You know, as a present, other than seamless AI. Other than seamless AI. A little knowledge nugget. A little. Um, you know, uh, I might have a good resource for you. How? You ever wanted to yeah. find the phone number? Of uh, like Google ads or any like tech entity. Yeah, uh, I was. Try- I tried to call YouTube one time when they took a video down. They said it was violates community policies. I'll have to find my bookmarks. Um, Gone forever. But this has been helpful, and I've been helping some other people video out. Video gold. Let's see. Get human. Gethuman dot com. That's cool. F- call companies and fix customer service issues faster. That. Whoever made this website is a saint. Yeah. Altruistic uh, because no one was asking for it. They're getting a little AdSense ad money out of the deal. But, dude, it, when I have a, find a number on there, I'm like, fucking thank Christ. Yeah, I'm coming for you. I'll delay a phone call like that for hours, days. building up to something for well, a big it's, finish. It's just like, oh, fuck. This is going to be an hour of my life. Right. Even if I'm doing something else at the time, you know? Sure, yeah. Why? Maybe if you tell yourself, this is going to be quick. It'll be quick. Yeah, but it never, with the tech companies, never is. You're getting lost in the image of yourself. I'm getting lost in my traps, dude. Yeah. Oof. What? We're all very impressed. Are you getting a boner? Is that what you're worried about? No. It's okay. It's okay. It doesn't mean you're gay. Uh, It means you, you love beautiful sculptures. I know. I All right, I, should I think up. we're good. I think we're good. We did a show. We did a show. You got anything yeah, else? Kind of. Would have we ever talked about Remini? Um, that we we're just using. I just used it today. For as much as we uh, get a boner for it, I don't think we've talked about it on air. It's a, an AI upscaling uh, image gimmick. Well, that, here's here, for low tech people. Yeah, you can never get a smaller image to be bigger. In, right. In the history of electronic now. images, right? Uh, and that's always the shittiest thing as a designer a lot of times. Right, well, you design a beautiful website. All right, let me get your team photos from 1978. Right. Oh, like, what is, the, what is this? I got these from the photo, this is huh? an actual photo. I was supposed to scan it. Yeah, so... Uh, uh, they'll Remini, give you, R-E-M-I-N-I. They're working on video, too, which will be impressive if they can make that work. Right. If you can make a low res fucking world star hip hop video into like HD, yeah, dude, that's amazing. Yeah. Now, is it perfect? No, but if you work in a creative world, marketing, anything that involves like that, that stuck you get, we're going to the client to get a better picture. It's just a huge pain in the ass. It's somehow fucking 
an astronomical favor, which it shouldn't yeah. be a favor. It's something you need from right. them. Um, for whatever reason, or them getting a picture is so hard to do. Yeah. But yet, your invoice <laughs> rests upon that getting yeah. done. Right. This is that's do it. That's a real game changer. Later. I use it for like shitty pictures I take too. Sure. Or if you even have old pictures and you do want to scan them or some shit, like oh yeah, you can go on your old, old like you know. I did that. We've with been the, on Facebook for over ten years. The cameras back then were a lot different. The pictures just, don't look as good. You go back, download them, re-upload them, or re-run them through Remini, and I don't know what you're doing. I was on an edible the other night. I was like, maybe I should take some of these Facebook pictures down. <laughs> Yeah. These haven't aged well for old Smitty. Yeah. Uh, you didn't do that during the divorce? Um, I, I waffled, but I had some good times before they were bad. So I was like, I'll just give them all up. Fuck it's it. been general. Yeah, whatever. I, I mean, once you're like, once you're an a amateur, semi pro stand up comic for this long, you're kind of like a realtor. Like, your shit's out there. Like, yeah. you're public. That's Local true. I don't know what figure. I'm talking about. I got all kinds of shit out there. It's not good. Oh, dude. There, I mean, there's stand up, alone. stand up videos that I don't know how I don't own it, but uh, someone, uh, some other comics own them like way back in the day and they're up. I can't get them down. And definitely a couple of years ago, I had a job interview go poorly because I found this uh, video a little troubling. Oh, God. And I was like, I think I should go back to doing my own business. I just added something to my do- to do list. What? Go scrub? Yeah. It, you know, it's worth Googling yourself. Maybe put it in your iCal for once a year. Just Google yourself, see what comes up. You've got kind of a uni- unique name, I'd say. Yeah. So that's fun for you. All right. You can get right to it. Good luck searching William Smith. Or... I can't believe you slapped that guy. Law Smith. You get every law firm or right. wordplay or whatever. Right. I really a need... Boutique law firm, law, the Law Smith. Or Law, comma, Smith, because I got, I, yeah, I got Google alerts on myself, and you, and you, and you. And that's it. All right, that's our contractually obligated time. Okay. Count it. Kill it.